This is our iHeartRadio album listening party for Sam Smith's new album, Love Goes. I'm your host, Valentine. So I think now we're going to get into some music. The first song I want to talk about is Diamonds. What can you tell us about Diamonds? Oh, so I wrote this song. Um, I, was, I was playing a character when I wrote this song. I was pretending that I was a really, really rich woman who lived in a mansion and her husband had left her um, and taken all of her diamonds and all of her stuff. And she was just left running around the house in a wedding dress drinking wine. Now, the first track in your album is Young. It begins with an honest expression, I guess, of a really deep breath. What does that represent? Um, do you know what? I, I, I didn't really notice it until, um, until someone picked it up recently, actually. And like, I think it is, it's, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of deep breathing that's been going on this year, you know, like having to just take a deep breath and just go for it and, and step into a vulnerable situation and, and to just be myself. Uh, I felt very naked at times and, um, and very anxious and scared. So it was more of a declaration before the record just to say, you know, I'm going to explore here and I'm going to try some different sounds out, you know. I, the way that I look at, at me making music is that I, I'm a, I see myself as a singer, firstly, and I sing so many different types of, of, of stuff, you know, from musical theatre to jazz to country to dance to R&B to soul music. To, there's, there's so many different styles that I love to sing, and um, I, want, I just want to be able to do that. You know, I don't want to be tied down to a genre. Um, so I think that that was, that was a declaration of me saying, back off, let me have some fun. I'm, I'm 26, <laughs> which is how old I was when I wrote it. Now, Love Goes is the title track for the new album. Um, the album's named after this song. I was trying to think, how do you decide which song gets that privilege? Yeah, I mean, it's always the, the, the words that mean the most, I think. You know, and, and the lyric to this song is, that's how love goes. And um, for me, uh, you only really understand love uh, when you're, you've been loved, when you love someone and someone loves you back. And um, that, it was a wild feeling being loved by someone and, and loving them. And, and I think during that whole period of time, I learned what love was and what, and what it meant to love someone and how you can only give someone um, love when you're giving it to yourself, you know? So I think I wanted to call the album Love Goes, um, as in this is how love goes. Now, Dancing with the Strangers on the album, but not really a new song, obviously, but a huge song. How much were you surprised? How were you surprised when that song hit? I, I honestly didn't think it was going to do what it did at all. Um, I, you know, I loved the song and... Um, I just didn't think it would connect like it did. And it's been a massive song for me. It's absolutely incredible. And thank you for playing it and supporting it. And yeah, it's been wild. How did you get together with Normani for that song? Um, I was in um, Venice Beach uh, writing with uh, Stargate and Jimmy Nates. And I was in the studio and we finished the song. And um, that same day, uh, she was having a meeting downstairs uh, with a with a publicist and um i not a publicist sorry uh she was just having a meeting downstairs and i and i <laughs> and i basically um i basically said to stargate boys she should jump on this song and i went downstairs and i asked her if she wanted to and she came upstairs and she listened to dance with a stranger and then she just did it there and then she just sang the second verse and i was just so happy um, it sounded absolutely incredible Amazing. So Serious, our next track. We have five more songs to check out here. So Serious can be viewed as a song about, I guess, not letting the world get you down. Would you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. For me, this is like a, a song about my mind and my mental health. And um, it, it, I tried to make it playful and light and really, really poppy um, because the feelings are so deep and, and heavy that sometimes it's nice to just sing a little sad pop song. I put my hands up in the air like right away the first time I heard that song. Seriously. I love that song so much. My, my so whole good. family didn't like that song. And I was like, I just had to ignore them because I loved it so much. <laughs> yes, please. What, what family member said no to that song? Who was it? Name a name here, Sam. No, no, so many. So my mom hated Stay With Me. 
She was like, no. I don't really like this girl. I was like, thank, well, thank God I brought it out because it got her a house. <laughs> <laughs> do you think, do you think So Serious has anything to do on a larger scale uh, with what the world is going through right now? Yeah. Yeah, I guess and anything, you know, that, that focuses on mental health. Um, I think that I think we've always been going through mental health issues. I just think that we're finally talking about it. I think my generation especially are have been incredible at standing up and saying um, we need to talk about this because that's the only way that you can feel better is by talking and sharing the burden with everyone else and and um, and asking people in because we've seen what uh, not talking about it does. You know, it kills you from the inside out. So I think that um, I think that the conversations that are happening around mental health are fantastic. Um, yeah, it's great. Next song we're going to go on to is called "Forgive Myself." How would you describe? What's going on in this song? Um, I've been so overwhelmed with uh, the reaction to this song. I, I honestly didn't think this would be one of the most loved ones. And um, oh God, I, I find it hard to listen to this um, because I get, I was so sad. This was fresh after a breakup. So this was, uh, I've never ever been heartbroken like that before. Like can't sleep. Uh, you know, just can't really function. I've never felt that type of heartbreak. Um, so I wrote it about that. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy that people are loving it because it's a, it's an extremely personal song. Now, for The Lover That I Lost, you co-wrote this and brought it to Celine Dion, who did a wonderful version of this in 2019, I think. What made you give this Celine originally? And when you first met Celine, did you just die? Oh my God, I died. Absolutely died. I've never been the same since. Uh, Celine is everything to me. Um, but yeah, I, I, my, the people who I wrote the song with played it to Celine and um, she loved it and she sang it. And um, when I first wrote that song, it sounded completely different. And then when Celine sang it, it became a Celine Dion song. And I suddenly started listening to the song in a completely different way. And so I wanted to cover it basically on this album and i see it as me covering the celine dion song now which i just think is so cool and as my albums are like photo books you know it's like looking back on memories and for me that was such a huge uh, point in my career to have celine dion singing my song that i had to honor it really on this album i do have to ask you though when did you first meet celine do you have that story yeah i was in i went and saw her backstage at um hyde park in london uh when she before she did the show I've never been that starstruck in my life. Oh my gosh. Did you get a picture? Yeah, I got a picture. Ah, good for you. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.